What's up guys, welcome to your 25th tutorial in C++. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use an array and pass it into a function. So pretty much how to use functions and arrays as one in Harmony. So peaceful. Well, listen up. Here's how you do it. The first thing that we need to build is a function. So I'm going to, this function is pretty much going to loop through the array and sum up all the numbers in it. And you guys already know how to do this, but you didn't put it in a function before, so that's what I'm going to do. So I think a good uh, name for this would be answer. And of course, it's going to take two parameters, the array, of course. I'm going to name it Bucky. And the number of elements that I'm going to name num. Simple enough. Now, let's go ahead and build the function body. Uh, make sure I got all that right. Good enough. The first variable you need in here is the sum of the numbers and I'm going to set that equal to zero and you probably should too. The next thing we're going to want to do is loop through our array. So let's go ahead and we'll set the index equal to i and start at zero since zero is the first element of the array and make sure that i is less than num because remember num is the amount of elements in your array and then we want to increment by i every time. Don't want to do anything fancy here. Just basic looping through a, or an array. Nothing to see here. Move, okay, yeah, get some nice spacing. There we go. Now what we want to do is when it loops through each element, we want to store it into a sum. So put sum plus equal to Bucky I. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the first element, add it to sum. Second element, add it to sum. Third element, add it to sum. Until it gets to the end of the array. So, of course, after all our hard work, we probably want to return something, and that would be the sum, or our answer. But we can't write answer because that's the name of our function. So, after we built a function, we need to prototype it. And let's go ahead and copy and paste. And prototyping, in case you forgot, um, all you have to do is take the header and add it above main with a semicolon at the end. And that's because when we use that function, um, C++ knows what it does pretty much uh, and that's a real basic um, and now what we got is a function that takes an array and adds up all of the elements in it so in order to use this we probably are going to need an array so let's go ahead and make one right now I'm going to name my numbers because I'm just that creative and I'm going to have five elements in it and now let me get five random elements for this, some of that, 43 and 7. Looks pretty random. Make sure I got 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. And now what we want to do is um, set a variable for the total and we want to set it in this main function. We can't use the sum because this variable is only local to this function, so we need another variable. Um, we couldn't put sum, I believe, but that would be too confusing. So in total, and this is going to store the answer of whatever this function returned us. So let's go ahead and put answer because that's the name of our function. And of course, it takes two parameters, the name of the array and the amount of elements in the array. So the name of the array is numbers and the amount of elements in the array is five. Semicolon, enter. A little too easy. Now, let's just output on the screen what we did. So put C out, and let's just put something like the total number, or actually the sum of all elements in the array. Make sure you have a couple typos in there. And set it equal to total, and that line, and semicolon, good. So now that everything looks right, until I run this, you can probably get a bunch of errors. Uh, go ahead and compile and run it, and we'll see what we get. Got a feeling I forgot a semicolon somewhere. Nope. The sum of the elements in the array, 131. So as you can see through all my uh, fast typing, 131 is the sum of all the elements in the array. So let me explain to you one more time what we did. We prototype the function up here for down here. That's a function. We now made an array called numbers and that array had five elements in it and then we said all right take this variable total and hold the answer of your array and what we did right here is call the function answer 
and I need to take a breather before I explain. This take two, um, it took two arguments, numbers, which was the array, and five. And it took numbers and threw in Bucky and five and threw in num. And then it looped through and summed all of the elements in the array and outputted that variable. As you can see, we returned it right here. So then after that, the answer of that sum was stored in the variable total. So then we just outputted the sum of all the elements in the array is total. Probably should put a space right there, but we didn't. So, and that is how. Um, well, I guess that's it. That's how you basically use an array and pass it into a function. So I just want to show you this tutorial so you can know that it isn't just um, boring integers or variables that you can throw into a function, but you can also use arrays in there. And that's going to come in use later on when we when we are building programs. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm probably going to go over um, some more advanced stuff and functions. So copy as I did, and after you copy all this, trust me, you'll be a pro at it. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.